Welcome to the Voice of Salvation programming, whose main source is to be an inspiration to you through the message of hope and peace. And this is only achieved when you remain in tune. Stay with us and you will be blessed. In this fast-paced world, where time slips through our fingers like sand, it can sometimes feel challenging to devote enough attention to the spiritual and emotional well-being of our children. However, we firmly believe that with God's grace and wisdom, we can overcome these challenges and create a nurturing environment that helps our children flourish. Stay with us here today at The Voice of Salvation as we will be speaking about caring for our children, ministering in busy lives for stronger families. The morning sky of amber Calling in a whisper Awakens us to ponder who you are Stars across your canvas Speak in every language Inspire the world To know that you are God Fascinated With your greatness Lord, most high Surround 
children, ministering in busy lives for stronger families. Welcome to another episode of The Voice of Salvation, a podcast dedicated to shaping family values found only in the Word of God. We're excited to have you join us on this journey as we embark on a quest to discover practical ways to strengthen our families through intentional ministry. Today, our focus shines brightly on a topic of utmost importance, ministering to our precious children amid the demands and whirlwind of our busy lives. You see, in this fast-paced world where time slips through our fingers like sand, it sometimes feels challenging to devote enough attention to the spiritual and emotional well-being of our children. However, we firmly believe that with God's grace and wisdom, we can overcome these challenges and create a nurturing environment that helps our children flourish. Our guiding compass for this exploration will be the timeless wisdom found within the sacred pages of the Bible. We will uncover biblical principles and meaningful scriptures that shed light on the transformative power of ministering to our children. Together, we will gain valuable insights that will not only impact our families, but also leave a lasting mark on future generations. So, my dear friends, let us set aside distractions and open our hearts and minds to the possibilities that lie before us. As we delve into this episode, we invite you to embrace a spirit of openness and a willingness to learn, for it is in the sacred space that we will discover the profound impact intentional ministry to our children can have in building stronger, resilient, and God-centered families. Creating Quality Time for Spiritual Growth In the hustle and bustle of our modern lives, it's easy to get caught up in the endless cycle of busyness. However, amidst the chaos, it's absolutely crucial that we prioritize the spiritual growth of our children. We must dedicate specific time to the nurture of their faith and foster a deep and meaningful relationship with God. A powerful biblical principle that emphasizes this responsibility can be found in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 6 and 7. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts and press them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. This passage highlights the importance of diligently teaching our children about the Word of God integrating it into every aspect of their lives. So to prioritize the spiritual growth of our children, we need to set aside time for activities that enhance their connection with God. Consider incorporating daily devotions into the family routine, where you come together to read and reflect on passages from Scripture. This provides an opportunity for meaningful conversations and allows your children to ask questions and explore their faith in a safe and nurturing environment. Family prayer is another powerful way to nurture their spiritual growth. Set aside specific time each day to pray together as a family, expressing gratitude, seeking guidance, and lifting one another in prayer. This practice not only strengthens your children's relationship with God, but also fosters a sense of unity and support within the family structure. In addition to devotions and prayer, seize moments throughout the day to engage in meaningful conversations about faith. Whether during meals or while driving in the car, or right before bedtime, take advantage of these opportunities to discuss spiritual manners, share personal experiences, and impart biblical wisdom to your children. By integrating these conversations into the fabric of your daily life, you create a transformative and nurturing parenting environment that helps your children grow in their understanding of God's love and truth. Remember, dear listeners, that prioritizing the spiritual growth of our children requires intentional effort on our part. By setting aside time for devotions, family prayer, and meaningful conversations, we begin to establish a solid foundation for their journey of faith. Let us be guided by Deuteronomy 6, 6 and 7, diligently teaching our children and integrating God's truth into every aspect of their lives. Together, let us foster their spiritual growth, knowing that we are shaping not only their lives, but also the future of our families and communities. 
All this will then lead us to leading by example, modeling a vibrant faith. As parents and guardians, one of the most powerful ways that we can minister to our children is by leading by example. Our actions and attitudes speak for themselves and have a profound impact on their spiritual journey. When we demonstrate an authentic and passionate relationship with God, we create a living testimony of faith that can inspire and guide our children towards a vibrant and meaningful connection with Him. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, Jesus encourages us with these words, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Now this scripture reminds us of the importance of living out our faith in a way that illuminates our path and influences those around us. By allowing our light to shine brightly, our children witness the transformative power of God's presence in our lives. To model a vibrant faith, we must first cultivate a deep and personal relationship with God. This requires setting aside time for prayer, studying His Word, and seeking His guidance in our daily lives. When our children see us prioritizing our relationship with God, we send a powerful message about the value we place on our faith. In addition to personal devotion, we must also demonstrate the fruit of the Spirit in our interactions with others. Love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All of these should characterize our words and actions. And when our children see us showing grace and compassion to others, forgiving those who have wronged us, and acting with integrity, in our relationships, they learn the essence of true discipleship. Furthermore, we can involve our children in acts of service and ministry, providing them with opportunities to witness firsthand the impact of living out our faith, engaging in community service activities, volunteering together, or participating in mission trips allows our children to experience the joy and the fulfillment that come from serving others. By modeling a vibrant faith, we create a living testimony that speaks louder than words. Our children observe the authenticity of our relationship with God and are inspired to seek Him for themselves. And reflecting on Matthew 5:16, let us be intentional about letting our light shine brightly so that our good works may glorify our Father in heaven. Leading by example is an integral part of ministering to our children. And through our actions and attitudes, we have the opportunity to ignite a passion for God in their hearts. By cultivating a vibrant faith and allowing our light to shine, we demonstrate the transformative power of God's love and inspire our children to embark on their own journey of faith. May we continually strive to live out our beliefs guided by the teachings of Jesus and to be catalysts for spiritual growth in the lives of our precious children. This will then help us to capture those moments by creating teaching moments and harnessing everyday experiences. You see, amidst our busy lives, we often encounter countless opportunities to impart valuable life lessons and biblical truths to our children. These teaching moments, woven into the fabric of our everyday experiences, have immense potential to shape their character, nurture their faith, and create lasting memories. By recognizing and seizing these opportunities, we can pass on the discipline and instruction of the Lord, as encouraged in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. Mealtimes, family outings, and even daily chores can become profound platforms for teaching and instilling divine values in our children. As we gather around the table to eat, we can engage in intentional conversations about gratitude, generosity, and the importance of sharing our blessings with others. By encouraging our children to reflect on God's provision and goodness, we cultivate a spirit of thankfulness and a deeper appreciation for His abundant grace. During family outings and adventures, we can explore God's creation together and marvel at the beauty and the complexity of the world around us. Whether we're walking through lush forests or strolling along sandy beaches, 
and gazing at the starry night sky, we have the opportunity to point out the wonders of God's handiwork. These moments of awe and wonder remind us of His majesty and power, nurturing a sense of reverence and awe in our children's hearts. Even in the midst of daily tasks and responsibilities, we can impart valuable life lessons. Whether folding laundry, washing dishes, or tending to the garden, we can teach our children about diligence, responsibility, and the importance of serving others. By involving them in these tasks, we're not only instilling practical skills, but we also show them the joy and the satisfaction that come from fulfilling our responsibilities with a servant's heart. Additionally, we can use technology and media as tools for teaching and discussion. By watching movies and reading books together, we can explore themes such as love, forgiveness, courage, and compassion, relating them to biblical principles. Engaging in open and reflective conversations about these stories helps our children develop critical thinking skills and gain a deeper understanding of how God's truth intersects with the world around them. When creating teaching moments, it's important to approach these opportunities with patience, sensitivity, and a genuine desire to connect with our children. We should strive to be attentive listeners, allowing them to express their thoughts and questions openly by creating a safe and non-judgmental space for dialogue. We foster an environment where our children feel comfortable, exploring their faith and seeking clarification on spiritual manners. These teaching moments are all around us, waiting to be harnessed by recognizing and seizing these opportunities, we then impart valuable life lessons and biblical truths to our children. And through intentional conversations, engaging in everyday experiences, and using media as a tool for discussion, we can then nurture their faith, shape their character, and create lasting memories. May we embrace these teaching moments with love, patience, and a desire to guide our children in the ways of the Lord. All of this will lead us in order to foster personal connections, promote open communication. You see, building strong and meaningful relationships with our children is vital for their spiritual growth. To cultivate these connections, we must prioritize open communication, active listening, and genuine interest in their lives. By engaging in sincere conversations, we create environments where our children feel valued, understood, and empowered to share their thoughts, questions, and difficulties. The book of Proverbs 22, verse 6, provides us with this timeless wisdom. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now, this verse emphasizes the importance of intentional guidance and instruction in shaping our children's lives. One of the most effective ways to provide this guidance is by fostering open communication. Now, to foster personal connections, we must be intentional in creating opportunities for meaningful conversations. Dedicate regular time to interact with your children individually. This can be during a walk, shared meal, or even a designated conversation time before bedtime. By giving them your undivided attention, you communicate that they are a priority and that their thoughts and feelings matter. Active listening is a crucial component of open communication. When your child speaks, be fully present and attentive. Avoid interrupting or dismissing their thoughts and emotions. Instead, seek to understand their perspective and value their experiences. This fosters an environment of trust and openness where your child feels safe to express themselves and explore their faith journey. Now, while engaging in conversations, ask open-ended questions that encourage deeper reflection with them. Allow your child to share their thoughts and encourage them to think critically about their beliefs and values. This strengthens not only their understanding of their faith, but also helps them develop a personal connection with God as they grapple with spiritual concepts at their own level. Additionally, be willing to share your own experiences, your own challenges and victories in your faith journey. 
Your vulnerability and authenticity will resonate with your child and create a sense of solidarity by demonstrating that you also wrestle with questions and seek God's guidance. You normalize the growth process and encourage your child to do the same. It's very important also to create a judgment-free environment where your child feels comfortable discussing their doubts, their fears, and difficulties. Assure them that it is natural to have questions and uncertainties, and that seeking answers and guidance is a valuable part of their spiritual development. Embrace their doubts as opportunities for growth, exploration, and strengthening their trust in God. Fostering these open communications is essential for building stronger personal connections with our children. By actively listening, showing genuine interest, and engaging in sincere conversations, we then create an environment where they feel valued, understood, and supported. As we walk alongside them on their faith journey, we're reminded of the wisdom of Proverbs 22 and 6. As we commit to instructing our children in the way they should go, through open communication, we nurture their spiritual growth and equip them to navigate life with a solid foundation in their faith. Another wonderful way to do this is through engaging in family worship, or in other words, united in faith. There's a special beauty in gathering as a family to worship God. When we participate in family worship, we not only strengthen our mutual bond, but we also deepen our connection with God. It is a time to come together, to sing hymns, to read scriptures and pray together cultivating a sense of belonging and fostering spiritual growth in our family. Psalms 133 and 1 reminds us of the joy and blessing that comes from dwelling in unity. Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. These verses speak of the power of family unity and the positive impact it has on our faith journey. When we engage in family worship, we create a sacred space where we can experience the goodness and beauty of worshiping God as a united family. An important aspect of family worship is singing hymns together. Music has the ability to touch our hearts and souls, transcending barriers and drawing us closer to God. By lifting our voices in harmony, we then create a symphony of praise that lifts our spirit and invites the presence of God among us. Whether with traditional hymns or contemporary worship songs, the act of singing together unites our hearts and deepens our connection with our Heavenly Father. Another integral part of family worship is reading and studying Scripture together. Choose a passage that is relevant to you and your family or to your current season in life. Encourage each family member to take turns reading out loud and sharing their insights and reflections. Through exploring God's Word together, we gain wisdom, understanding, and guidance for our daily lives. It becomes a time of learning, a time of growth, and a time of mutual encouragement as we uncover the profound truths contained in the Scriptures. Prayer is an essential component of family worship also. It is through prayer that we communicate with God. We express our gratitude. We pour out our hearts and seek His guidance and provision. Encourage each family member to share their prayer requests and take turns praying one for another. By interceding on behalf of our loved ones, we deepen our empathy, compassion, and mutual love. The time of prayer also serves as an opportunity to teach our children the importance of seeking God's presence and relying on Him for strength and guidance in all areas of life. As you engage in family worship, remember to create an atmosphere of reverence and joy. Find a comfortable and dedicated space where you can gather as a family without distractions. Remember that flexibility is key in family worship. Adapt the format and activities to suit the age and interests of your children. Younger children may benefit from interactive storytelling, arts and crafts related to the Bible story, or simple prayers of gratitude. Older children may enjoy deeper discussions, journaling, or engaging in acts of service inspired by their scripture and their study of the Word. Tailor the worship experience to meet the unique needs and preferences of your family members, ensuring that everyone feels included and engaged. Consistency is also the key of family worship. 
Establish a regular time, a day for gathering as a family to worship, whether it's a daily, weekly, or monthly practice. Consistency creates a rhythm and expectation that strengthens the bond of unity, and it facilitates the spiritual growth. Even if your schedule gets busy, make it a priority to protect this sacred time and guard it as a precious gift for your family. Remember that family worship is a powerful way to deepen our connection with God and strengthen our bond as a family. Through singing hymns, reading scriptures, and praying together, we create a space where we can experience the goodness and the beauty of worshiping as a united family. Let us embrace the wisdom of Psalms 133 and 1 and cultivate family unity by engaging in regular and meaningful family worship. May this practice enrich our lives, nurture our faith, and draw us closer to God and one another. In conclusion, all of this that we have spoken of today will help us to strengthen our families for future generations. As parents, we have a profound responsibility to minister to our children and foster their spiritual growth, even amidst the busyness of our lives. Throughout this discussion, we have explored various strategies to fulfill this calling and build stronger families. First and foremost, we must prioritize the spiritual growth of our children, recognizing its significance and making it a central focus of our parenthood. By dedicating time and energy and resources to their spiritual development, we invest in their future and lay the foundation for enduring faith. Leading by example is another crucial aspect of effective parenting. Our actions and attitudes and values serve as a powerful model for our children. When we are authentic and we live out our faith in authenticity, we demonstrate integrity, love, and compassion. We inspire and guide them towards a deeper relationship with God. Furthermore, creating teachable moments amidst everyday experiences allows us to instill biblical truths and life lessons in our children. By seizing moments during meals, family outings, daily chores, and media consumption, we can then shape their character, deepen their faith, and create lasting memories that anchor them in God's truth. By fostering personal connections through open communication, it is essential to building strong relationships with our children. By actively listening, showing genuine interest, and cultivating an environment of trust, we create then spaces where our children feel safe to express themselves, explore their faith, and grow in wisdom and understanding. Engaging in family worship is a unifying and transformative practice. By singing hymns, reading scriptures, and praying together, we strengthen our mutual bond and deepen our connection with God. Family worship then becomes a sacred space where we can experience the goodness and beauty of worshiping as a united family. Let us follow the wisdom of Proverbs 20, verse 7, which reminds us that the righteous who walk in integrity leave a blessed legacy to their children. By ministering to our children with intentionality, we can have a profound impact, not only on their lives, but also on future generations. I want to thank you for joining us today in the Voice of Salvation as we explored ways to strengthen our families. May the shared ideas and strategies empower us to build stronger families rooted in faith and love and unity. As we continue on this journey, let us remember that our efforts today will shape the lives of our children and impact future generations. God bless you.